Good morning. It's a 7 a.m. It's a perfect time to go to Yellowstone. Our adventures continues and we right now enter into Yellowstone, West Gate of Yellowstone. You guys can see so many people here. So we have five lanes of entry gates, just to the entry gates. But we're almost there. Just approach first gazer in Yellowstone Park. Here's my honey. And we see some boiling water here. That's very interesting. Check this out. Best pictures. So beautiful. How's air quality here? Mm, nice. <laughs> Unusual, but not bad. Could yeah, be worse. It's nice, yeah. Very, very unusual sights. Guys, we are approaching right now Midway Gazer Basin and this is unbelievable. Rivers of hot water. Just get just the old faithful, and this is gazers just starting going. Wow, crazy! It's more and more. I need just some time. <laughs> I think the big ones over here, so these are like small ones.
this is guys, it's not lime, this is silica. The presence of the silica dissolving in hot water and the fact this comes out of solutions and store underground as the reasons for geysers without presence of silica in underground, geysers not going to be exist. Four thousand gallons of hot water coming up per minute in this river. This river creates a lot of life for bacteria and around this river and this river never freezes in the winter time. beautiful place. Thank you so much, honey, for bringing me here. <laughs> this is very sketchy looking geyser or spring. I can say spring probably because just water. Approaching Liberty Pool. This is much bigger pool with a lot of uh, lactobacteria actually inside. Probably water not as hot, probably just warm because bacteria still grow. Hot water kills bacteria and uh, when you guys can see springs, super clean water, it means super hot water at the same time. And uh, we keep going. Honey, we're approaching boiling water. I'm so afraid, this is so scary. Oh, wow. They probably should turn around. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I don't want to be wet with 100 degrees water. Oh, crazy. It's everywhere, guys, here. It's everywhere in Yellowstone National Park. Check this out. Wow! Absolutely. Ooh. It's shooting probably like 25 feet in the air. And this hot geyser creates those hot creeks which go all the way. This one very energetic geyser. You know, just was passing by and he shows like 20 feet and covers water here. Clothes is wet right now. Honey, how's your clothes? Are you wet? It's pretty wet. Are you okay? Are you okay? water is cold. Yeah. I expected it will be hot, but it's cold. But I heard it's acidic. So who knows, my face may be peel off a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be just younger, this is perfect. I know. That's another view. They are unbelievable. We are in tortoiseshell spring. This huge geyser should erupt from now to next 20 minutes anytime.
охраняют. He's trying to protect her. Yes. It's an elk with two females. This is amazing. Right now we are approaching Yellowstone Lake. This is one of the highest lake in the United States, actually probably in the world. It's about 7,000 feet elevation here, and this lake has about 400 feet deep uh, water. So it's a huge, amazing, and it's beautiful. I feel like we're on another planet right now. <laughs> it's very unusual. We're still landscape. planet Earth, still. Yeah. This is a black pool. It's super hot and super clear water. Right by the lake. Nebella Gacha is a lake village in Yellowstone. This is probably the cleanest lake I ever seen in my life. Water is so crispy clear. 7000 feet elevation. Upper Terrace. It's a very famous place in Yellowstone as well. It's located on the north side of the Yellowstone and it's more like in the mountains. That's amazing. Can you believe it? It looks like on the moon. <laughs> it's a very, very strange landscape in here.
another beautiful day in Yellowstone. Uh, and we're right now in a mammoth hot spring rush. So it's amazing things here with Ina. But it's weather is crazy changing. Like yesterday was like 32, 37 degrees. Today 65, 70. Two days ago we had a lot of snow. <laughs> Just have to prepare clothes yeah, for he... all kinds of climates. All this traffic to get to Mammoth, Hot Springs Terrace. I think it's like two or three miles long. Thank God we go to opposite directions. We actually go into Lamar um, Valley to see animals. It's supposed to be 3,000 bisons living there and uh, wolves. So hopefully we will see wildlife. And hopefully when we go back, traffic will disappear. I hope we can find a few animals today and uh, we'll, we'll see them. Guys, and now we're approaching tallest geyser in the world called Steamboat. It is amazing, guys. Wow. That's something. How do you feel? I'm so glad. <laughs> we just made whole circle and watched all main points of Yellowstone. This was the last on our list and we made it. Feels great. Yep. Now we have idea about how all of this looks. That's amazing. And three days in Yellowstone, I feel like not enough. I feel like we should have stay like maybe five days, so don't run like we did. This water is super clear and super hot. Hot springs create different water temperature environments for living things. Cistern springs, brown, orange and green colors represent species of visible algae and bacteria, each requiring a different temperature environment. Only a handful of hard to see species of bacteria can live where spring water is near, at or above boiling. Right now it's the mid of September and it's my birthday month and uh, I decided that I want to go travel and Oleg was very nice and uh, let me choose three locations where we can go and so we chose these three uh, absolutely wonderful national parks, Glacier, Yellowstone, Grand Teton and we will go back to Seattle for Idaho and uh, see Cardo Lane and uh, some wineries and everything in between. So far we already visited the uh, Glacier National Park. It's absolutely amazing park that everyone should visit. It's a um, gorgeous, uh, huge mountains, so powerful and crystal clear blue water from the glaciers and uh, a lot of hikes, a lot of wonderful nature, a lot of historical buildings. We stayed one night in um, Lake McDonald's Lodge. We enjoyed it a lot. It was built in early 19, 1913 or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but um, it's uh, preserved the way it was originally built. We liked it a lot. And then we um, moved to Yellowstone. Yellowstone welcomed us with snow blizzard and we were a little bit frustrated because it's below freezing and we could not even understand how we will um, go through hikes and everything uh, at this weather because um, snow was so heavy but um, 
we were lucky. We woke up next day and it was just light rain. It was still cold in the 40s, but we were able to go through hikes and see all these um, famous uh, geysers and uh, meadows and um, hot springs, a lot of animals in Lamar Valley. We enjoy uh, Yellowstone a lot as well. It's um, in three-day trip in Yellowstone. We saw all kinds of weather. It's like freezing, sun, rain, snow. Like we went through all year seasons. And now we are traveling and heading towards Grand Teton. And I guess we will tell you our experience after we see this national park. Just arrived to Grand Teton National Park, and here is the Ina, honey. But it's very beautiful here, very pretty. You guys probably not gonna see those mountains from far away, but we're going to approach them very soon. I'm gonna drive right next to them. Honey, are you ready for new adventures? Let's go! You guys can see it from here very, very well. If you get too close, uh, you're not gonna be able to see those gorgeous mountains. I'm like one big chain. It's so beautiful. Right now we're in this gorgeous beautiful area in Grand Teton National Park and we're gonna take a small hike to the Jenny Lake. At the end of our grand trip, we made it to Yuknot Winery in Idaho. We got through the Harvest Host, and it's really beautiful here. They have golf course, they have campground, private cabins as well, and they have live music every day after seven. Mm -hmm. 